today I am actually doing the Game of Thrones tag because seriously, it's Game of Thrones. My boyfriend and I were pretty late to the game, I think, because we recently started watching it and we recently finished it. I think we started watching Game of Thrones uh, just about as like the last episode of Season 5 was about to come out. So we were late to the game, I know. Uh, but we finished it in like two weeks, I'm not even kidding. And I just felt like I was gonna do the Game of Thrones tag because there's so many Game of Thrones feelings inside of me. Uh, and it's such a great show, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, or as I did. But <laughs> I actually did. Uh, so we're gonna talk about it a little bit today. Please comment down below with your own Game of Thrones feelings. How did you discover the show and the books? It's pretty difficult not to discover the show because everyone and anyone has been talking about Game of Thrones for several years now and anytime like an episode would come out my Facebook feed would just go crazy and there'd be spoilers and you know I knew a lot of people were gonna die before I even watched the show so like the first thing I ever said when we started watching was Boyfriend, don't get attached to any of the characters because they're all just going to die. Uh, that didn't go too well, uh, but at least we were prepared for it. <laughs> what was the first scene that you saw? The first scene that I saw was the first scenes of like the actual show. So it must have been when the three men of the Night's Watch were riding out outside of the wall and they were searching for wildlings and they met the White Walkers. Because um, I guess that, that is the first... Is that the first scene? Who is your favorite house apart from the Lannisters and the Starks? I really like the Targaryens, but there's only one left. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you can call it a house, can you? I guess you can. The Targaryens are very interesting. I think that their history is pretty interesting and I would like to know more about it. Who is your favorite character from the House of Stark? To be quite honest, I don't really have a favorite character from the Stark family. Uh, and I've been thinking really hard about this question, but I just don't like them enough. I guess my favorite was probably Ned Stark, but he died first in this stupid show, so... Who is your favorite character from the House of Lannister? For this question, I would have to answer Jaime Lannister. I know that Tyrion is really great, but I think that Jaime wins right now for me because in the beginning I hated him so much and he has really gone on this like redemption streak where I've sort of started to like him more and more and more and more. Uh, like during his trip with Brienne of Tarth I felt like he was just developing and you got to see a uh, different side of him that was actually a really kind person uh, and just finding out his backstory about why he uh, turned out to be the Kingslayer, why he betrayed the Targaryen King, the Mad King. Uh, I just found it really like... It just gave him as a character more depth and I just really like him. I feel as if he's just struggling with being who he is and also he has a golden hand which is totally cool. Who is your favorite character, male and female? My favorite female character would probably have to be Daenerys because I think that her character is really interesting. I think that what her character becomes is also really interesting um, in the show because she sort of has the power to move the people around her. Not because of who she is particularly, but because of something that she stands for, certain values that she stands for that move the people around her to want to help her. My favorite male character... I guess I would just have to answer Jamie Lannister at this one as well because of all the reasons I just explained. Who is your least favorite character? At first I was just gonna answer Ramsay because he's pure evil but I don't think that his character is underdeveloped or um, a bad character. I feel as if it's he's necessary for the story. I have to say this, but I don't necessarily enjoy watching Lord Baelish. <laughs> not that Lord Baelish is not like a really important character. I feel like he's the person who sort of like turns everything around and he always has little schemes and little plans. He's like really important for the storyline, but I just find his actor so crappy because everything he says is in the same monotone voice. This dude has a lot of dialogue, so I just, I don't know, I just don't like the actor that much. What are your thoughts about the series? 
Game of Thrones is just really great because it just has a lot of drama and the characters are really great and you just sit there under suspense for most of the time and then whenever an episode ends you just want the next one like waiting for the next season is gonna be torturing literally if you could be one of the characters who would you be and why to this question i would have to answer daenerys dragon because who wouldn't want to be a dragon what is your favorite episode or season my favorite season is season four but i also like seasons two and three so basically all the seasons my favorite episode is probably the last episode of season 4. I'm referring to the episode where Tyrion finally kills Tywin. I just felt like Tyrion had been building up for this a really long time and you were sort of just like left with the idea that oh my god what's gonna happen now because Tyrion was keeping the kingdom all together and it's interesting to see what happens next. And I feel as if the last episodes are usually like that. Someone dies and you're left wondering what is gonna happen because they always kill the person that you feel is sort of the protagonist. Uh, so, I mean, the last episode of season five was crazy. Who is your Game of Thrones crush? My Game of Thrones crush is definitely Grey Worm, just because he's so cute. If you also like Grey Worm, then please comment down below and we can discuss how cute he is together. What are you most looking forward to in the upcoming season? I would like to see what happened to Brandon because he just sort of disappeared in season 5. Like he entered a tree and then we didn't get to see him anymore. And I would like for all of the religious fanatics in uh, King's Land to just disappear because I hate that. It's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna take like up a lot of space and uh, who's gonna be the new protagonist in the next upcoming season. Have you read the books? No, I have not read the books, but I'm thinking of reading the first one uh, on my plane ride to Japan because I just sort of want something to read. Favorite place? I would have to answer Dorne just because they have a lot of sun and the place looks beautiful and I just feel as if the guy who's ruling Dorne has really great values and he seemed like a very kind person, so I would probably want to live there. Snog, marry, and kill. Snog, Rayworm, probably. Marry Daenerys, and then kill Ramsey. Mainly because I really want him to die. <laughs> favorite house sigil. My favorite house sigil would probably have to be the Starks because I think that the direwolf is really cool. Favorite house motto. I don't really remember the mottos. The only one that I can remember on the top of my head is the winter is coming, uh, but <laughs> uh, I don't really have that one as my favorite. Favorite outfit. My favorite outfit is the one that Daenerys wears uh, as she enters like this town where her dragons get stolen. She receives this blue dress with a golden uh, belt and I think that that one is really pretty. Favorite line. I don't actually have a favorite line because I can't remember them. I'm not the kind of person who like memorizes things and then recites them. So I was just thinking I'm gonna let you guys answer that question. So if you do have a favorite line in uh, Game of Thrones, then please just comment down below and tell me and you can probably remind me of a few great moments. That was everything for this week. I hope you enjoy Game of Thrones as much as I do. Uh, if you do, uh, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, uh, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!